Miss Amanda here and today I'm going to show you how to make a tasty treat called apple slice donuts. Now before you take on this task, you need to make sure you have the ingredients in your house. If you don't, please do not go out to the store just to buy these ingredients and save them for your next store or grocery delivery. Another thing is this will involve a knife. So if you are unable to use a knife, please ask your grown up for their help. And any other safety things, I will tell you along the way. Now, in order to make apple sliced donuts, you need some things. Of course, you'll need some apples, whichever kind you prefer and can get your hands on, as well as your favorite nut or nut substitute spread. You'll also need some toppings. I've got chocolate chips, crushed Oreos, some frosted flakes, and some chopped pecans. Other toppings you can use are other fruit, sprinkles, or the apple slices that you're not going to use in your apple slice donuts. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is wash your apple. I've pre-washed this. And you also need a knife. Once again, if you are unable to use a knife, please ask a grown-up. So you want to take your knife. I'm just going to move my toppings out of the way. And carefully slice your apple. You don't want your apple slices to be too thick or too thin. Okay, so I got about three slices because you don't need to use these parts unless you choose so. Oop, and be careful with your knife. Now I got a little crooked with this one, that's okay. So now you either want to carefully cut out the center of your apple with a knife, or if you're fortunate enough to have a cookie cutter, you can pop the cookie cutter in to cut out your hole. And now you have your three apple slices. And you won't need your big knife anymore. So now here's the part that is 100% safe for kids to do. So you want to choose your favorite peanut butter or other nut or substitute nut spread. And you want to put just a small layer on your donut slice. You don't have to put a lot. My example ones did kind of have a lot on it, but you don't need that much. You just want it evenly spread. And for the record, these knives are dirty because I used them in my example. So I'm going to use some Nutella on this donut, which is a little bit harder to spread. Now comes the toppings. As you can see, I took the top of my apple and chopped it into smaller pieces because I'm gonna add some apple slices to my apple donut. And I am going to mix that with some chocolate chips. Oops, you can add as many or as few toppings as your donut allows. For my Nutella donut, I'm going to add some frosted flakes. And for my peanut butter one here, I'm going to add some Oreo cookies. So there you have it, your apple slice donuts. Now there's just one thing left to do, and that is to enjoy them. And depending on how many you made, be sure to share them with whoever you are at home with. 
that is it for this episode of tween time with miss amanda i hope that you get a chance to make and enjoy this tasty treat and i'll see you next time bye now